Hello everybody and welcome back to Super Slime Lab. I am really excited to be playing this map again and I'm really hoping to finish it this time. And I feel kind of ashamed that I did not finish it last time, but uh MC Da commented again. Thank you so much, MC Da. You're you are a really cool person. Um and gave me a couple of small hints on this level. And so I I feel like I feel like I can do this now. I feel like knowing what I know, I can do it. And I also, I think I I might have had an idea for how to solve this level. And it involves the arrow that is remaining in the turret after I hit the other button. And I'm really not sure how well this is going to work out, but I think I, think I can do it. Uh, I, I have no idea if I have the right idea or not, but... I now know that I can solve the remainder of this level with just one pearl and one slime ball, and I know that I that the turrets are working properly, everything is working well, so with that knowledge, I think I can finish this level. So I'm just gonna do what I've been doing before, except now I think I have a slightly better idea of what needs to be done. I, I might have a slightly better idea. I'm not exactly sure, but we'll see. Now I just need to shoot this and pearl back, and then I think I need to stand here and point this in there. Come on now. Yes, that's it. That is it. Uh, it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be extremely tight. But I think it's doable. I think that's well, that. That's obviously what you're supposed to do, right? You hit it once, and then you hit it back into the button, which is awesome, MC Dot. That's amazing. Uh, that's a really cool level, and I just wish I had taken a little more time to think about this because I feel like I could have gotten it. But but this is really cool. So yeah, I'm I'm not so mad. It's pretty. It's pretty darn awesome. If if I've got it right, which it seems like I. Oh shoot. I did that wrong. Oh shoot, that was so close. Could this be it? Could this be it? I want it to go straight through. Ah, too far up. Too far up. We're gonna get this, guys. We are. Alright, we can do it. We can do it. No! Okay, but now we got we know we have like the perfect angle. I just need to point it at the button. Okay. Not too high, not too low, not too far to the left. Yes! Oh my gosh, you guys! Do you have any idea how much time I spent on this thing? And look! The door is open! We did it, and technically we would have gotten this advancement on this stage as well. Uh, which is kind of nice, except I already got it on the first stage, but I'm excited to move on to level three. Let's see what this holds in store for us, huh? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, gosh, that's a lot of pearls. Oh, my goodness. This is like a giant maze or something. Well, I guess we better start exploring, figuring out what this is all about. Oh, gosh, it really is a giant maze. Okay, what's over here? Oh my gosh, it really is a giant maze. <laughs> okay, so there's there's a button over here. What does that button do? I'm just going to start by exploring. I'm not really going to try to figure things out. Okay, well, clearly that opens that door. What's through the door, though? I can't tell. We're going to have to open the door to find that out. So what else is there to find around here? This probably just leads to where I started, right? Idiot test. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you got me. You got me, man. <laughs> oh, that, that 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 was amazing. Okay. That good to know. Good to know. <laughs> that's that's great, MC Da. That I'm not I'm not at all mad at you for that. That was amazing. I am I'm that's great. Okay, so this this leads me right back to where I started and then there's this bit up here. Oops, I just <laughs> I just teleported myself right back over to the Okay, so there is a door over here. And this allow me to get up over there without using a pearl, but I don't really see the point since I need a pearl to get up there in the first place. 
It might come in handy, but I'm not sure. Alright, let's reset the stage, and... Well, actually, I might need to be efficient with my pearls, in which case... Let's see, it'll take two pearls to get me up there, and then I can probably throw the slime ball from up there. So, if I can throw the slime ball from up there, that means I only need two pearls, whereas it'll take one... It, I don't think it changes the amount of pearls I have to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it what I think is the easier way, which is throwing it from... Oh my gosh, why can I not do this all of a sudden? I, I'm just going to try I throwing it from over here, since I don't see a benefit in throwing it from up there or jumping from up there. I don't see the point. But, I, I mean, I could be missing something, obviously. Often these puzzles are not what they seem at first. And now we're just going to try to pearl from over here. There's, I, I mean, I don't think there's any specific place we need to pearl from, so this seems as good as any. And, okay, so we got the, destruct, the destroying blocks here, a lot of them. I'm not even sure I could get in there if I tried. I, I'm not, I don't, I don't really know if there's any way I could, well, actually, I guess if I bounced it like that, oof, no, that did not work at all. But there's nothing else here, so I guess I have to teleport in there somehow. Right? I mean, I don't think there's any other way. So let's try to teleport to the highest one, maybe? I don't know, what's going to be easiest? I'm really not sure. It's going to be so hard to do this, no matter what. And how far back do they extend? Hard to tell. So let's try bouncing it off the wall here. See if that does anything. Now it, it got destroyed. Oh my goodness, that worked somehow. I don't know exactly how I did that, but it worked. And there's nothing in this one. Classic. Classic. Alright, so is it easier to pearl from up here? Probably, right? Does it work if I do this? Okay, somehow I just got in here. And this is... This is the top one. Oh, and there's more. There is more. Oh my goodness me. I don't like the look of this. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, can I just throw a slime ball up there? It looks like I'm going to need one of my tools, either my gravity cream or my uh, cyber hand. But let's try it a couple of times without, just to make sure. Because it seems like it might be feasible. You know, maybe I need to use a pearl on this one. So, yeah, let's just use the pearl. Maybe the other things will come in handy later on. Because I, I have a pretty clear shot now. Yeah, I don't know if, I, if I'm going to need a pearl elsewhere, but I, I used it there. Hmm, I might actually need a pearl to get down to this next level, because I'm assuming that's where whatever the rest of this is found. There we go. I don't know why sometimes it gets, gets destroyed and sometimes it doesn't, but we got lucky enough to come up here, and now, oh my goodness, we're going to need more pearls. We are going to need more pearls, but how much of this can I explore without a pearl? None, apparently. Well, let's see. What what is this what is this place like? Okay, there's a lot more. Like a lot more. Okay, can we make it in here now? All right. Now if only I had a pearl so I could look in there. Alright, let's reset the stage and see where we can not use ender pearls. Because we're going to need every last one of them, it seems. Oh, I can save one by getting straight up to that second shelf, if I do this right. Which uh, might be hard, but let's see if I can do it. Might need a cyber hand or something on this one. Never mind, that was a lot easier than I thought, so I actually only need one pearl for that whole thing, as long as I can throw this from up here. There we go! Alright, and now I just jump down here. Well, that was a lot easier. Okay, so I only need one pearl on that bit, which means I have more to use on this part. Wow, I got really lucky with the throw again. I don't know how this keeps happening, but I'm glad it does. Alright, now I'm assuming I need to use the zero gravity cream on this, maybe? Maybe I do need a pearl. Maybe it's just impossible without a pearl. I really think that I might- I, I need a pearl on this. I can't think of any other way to do this thing. Well, that's one way of, of getting up here, I suppose. Alright, 
assuming that I do need a pearl on that, let's let's head back down and see what else I can do. So now I have three pearls instead of one. I, I feel like I had one on this part before anyway. I don't know how this happened. There we go. And I'm in. And I'm here again. So now I can undo my last two throws. So I'm going to be reckless with my pearls just to figure out where things are. Like, what's up here, for example? Huh. Is this, this the same thing that's just over there? I want to see what's over this wall. I think it, it is the same. Alright. Oh no, but now I'm trapped down here. Oh my gosh, did I just do all of that for nothing? Also, what am I supposed to do in this room? That's what I really don't understand right now. I don't really see anywhere I'm supposed to go. Oh wait, up there. That makes more sense. I'm gonna guess that this is where I need the zero gravity cream. Oh, well, that did the trick. Oh my goodness, what is this thing? Okay, there's a button there that doesn't seem too hard to get. What is this mess? This does not look like fun. At all. What's down there? I can't see. Oh, it's the door. Okay. Is the challenge to get a pearl up there? I'm guessing the challenge is to get a pearl inside or something. I don't know. It's a good question, really. Is there nothing else? I think this might be it. I think this might be the end of it. If I can just hit that button. Oops. Well, easier said than done, apparently. There we go. Now that's opened the door. Now all I need to do is find some way to get in, which, again, easier said than done. But I think it's feasible. As long as I can find some way to bounce it off the walls and then off that white pillar in the middle, I should be able to do this. I might need the cyber hand. Actually, it would make sense that I need the cyber hand, because as far as I can tell, there's nothing else to do. Once I get up there, I'm good. Which would be really nice. Obviously. So let's try using the cyber hand. If I'm wrong, I can always undo the throw. Wait, what did I just hit? Oh my gosh, I just fell in. I just fell in. Yes! And that's level 3 completed, you guys. I'm getting through this. That that was so much faster than level 2. That was so much nicer. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy right now. Uh, I... Um... Um, can I take back what I said? <laughs> oh my goodness. The, what... What am I supposed to do with all these things? Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Okay. So, oh, there's so much, so much. I'm going to start by finding out what's down here, I suppose. That's a lot of metal blocks. Well, that that seems like a start. Okay, so hmm, maybe I can throw, or maybe I can hit a button from there. Seems about right. Okay, is there anything else behind these blocks? Because I feel like that, that would be just typical, right? There's got to be something else. There's got to be something else that's hidden. I'm going to have to reset the stage, obviously. But no, there's nothing else hidden behind these blocks. It's just a way to get in there. Good to know. Where does the button lead? I forgot to check. Uh, let's, let's see. Oh, it leads to this door. Okay, there's probably something very important behind this door, I imagine. Then, looks like I'm gonna need a grenade up there. Possibly a grenade over here. Alright, well, let's reset the stage and figure out what is going on. There we go, I broke some glass, at least. Now what if I throw one into the gap there? Aha! And with two grenades, we eliminate the need for the acid-covered slimes. In fact, I have no clue why we would ever need the acid-covered slimes. As far as I can tell, it would be much easier to go from up here, since go being down there offers no advantage, because you still have to break the glass anyway. But I could be missing something. Oh my gosh, we need to make a, a staircase out of this? That's insane. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe we should just use a pearl on this one. That seems like the clever thing to do. 
Wait, does this just lead me up to the spot with the glass? Oh, it allows me to break the glass. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, I broke some glass. Now, maybe I need a pearl in there? Is that feasible? I don't know. Maybe not. Well, I might need both pearls to get up there, I'm not sure. In which case, I would need to really redo things, but that's okay. This stage doesn't seem so bad so far. As long as it doesn't have turrets, I'm fine with it. That's the funny thing. Well, that was close. Close, but no cigar. There we go. Aha, there's a whole new area up here. And, oh my goodness me, that's insane. Okay, how is this done? And what's this? Looks like I can go down the staircase and come back up later on. This is extremely confusing. Okay, this button... This button leads to the door. And it looks like I'm going to need some acid-covered slimes to get to the door. So, let's get cracking. Uh, so I need to hit this... Whatever button leads to this wire, which of course is the button behind the ridiculous amount of metal blocks. And of course... Okay, so presumably I need to get this thing first. And I'm not sure how to do that. Alright guys, I'm now recording in a car, which means A, I have the Alex skin, because I'm not connected to the internet. And B, if you hear some noises outside, I'm sorry, I, I can't do anything about it. But I've reset the stage, as you can see, because I'm pretty sure I, th I have thought oops, of a way to get that grenade to hit the glass. Which is, as it turns out, a very difficult thing to do. And I believe we need to... To, to do that, we need to use the zero gravity cream, which, for that, I need to be able to use two... Well, I might need to be able to use two ender pearls to get up there. I'm not sure. But uh, I think I have an idea of how to finish this level, so we're going to give it a shot. And so that means that, obviously, I need to start by breaking this glass, which is apparently easier said than done. I might need to go in here and throw it from down there, which means I need a staircase. That is not a good staircase. That is a staircase. All right, we can do this. So I'm hoping that from here it'll be easier to throw the grenade up there. I'm really not sure, though. Okay, that was a lot easier. Well, good to know. So now we head back up our nifty little staircase and we throw this over there. There we go. Okay. And now, wait, no, where am I going? We need to create a staircase. And I actually figured out how to do this uh, off camera. Uh, oh, right. We start by throwing it up here. Just like that. Let it bounce around, and yes, perfect. Now we need to jump like somewhere right around here and just cut out one block. That was two. I jumped at the wrong time, I think. There we go. And see, if you jump at the right moment, it gets rid of just one block. And now we have our wonderful little staircase over here to get up to this next part. And now we cut this glass. Cool. And then we head back down. And we should be able to throw... I'm hoping it only takes one slime pearl, but it might take two. Yeah, I don't think it'll work with just one without the anti-gravity cream. So let's go for two. There we go. Made it up here. And now we want to see if I can throw the grenade through here using the anti-gravity cream and that'll work. Because otherwise I have no clue how to do it. But in theory that should keep it from hitting the, the other blocks, right? Oh man, so close. I think this is how it's done. There we go. That is how you do it. All right. So now I just need to hit that button and get through here using the remainder of my acid-covered slimes, and we should be all good. 
Okay, can I hit the button? That do does not appear to have worked. Is there a way through? Did I clear a path? It certainly... Ooh, that might be a little bit tricky, but let's see what we can do. There we go. And now we just need to clear a path through the rest of this mess. Which, again, might be easier said than done. Aha! Can I get through? Not quite, and I need another grenade. Wait, what? Whoa. There's another layer of metal blocks underneath, it looks like. So I need to be really careful with these things. So we need to be really, really conservative with our resources, but I think it's doable. I mean, obviously it's doable. It wouldn't be here if it wasn't doable. So that means that we probably, well, it's either use two grenades there or use, yeah, we got to use just the one, I think. So make our staircase like this. Oop, but that works. So then we can throw our grenade straight up there. And we have to throw the slime ball from up here too, presumably. What? Are there... Oh, we can, we can throw it up there from up there, it looks like. Oh yeah, I forgot about those blocks. Yeah, so we can't throw it from down there. Cool. Got that. Then, right, we need to go over here. And I don't think there's any way we can make a staircase with just one grenade. Okay, there's our staircase. Now we go break some blocks over here. Just like before. Good. Alright, we made it up. So now... Now we just have to be very, very careful. There we go. Now, hit that. Wow, that was pretty good. But we need, we, we can't use more than two if we want to get through all those other metal blocks. Although technically, technically I believe we can use three if we get one through the door and it breaks some metal blocks out there. There we go, we hit the button at least. Now no turning back, we just have to try to forge a path through here. That looked like it worked. And it might have also gone through some extra metal blocks back there. Which, okay. Do we have access to the glass? We do. This might be possible. Did that break any? No, it didn't. But I think, I think this is feasible. Okay, that broke a lot of glass. Now if we just... No. No, but it might be possible. Ah, we're so close. Just need to break through the metal blocks and the glass. Well, I mean, uh, the metal blocks below and the metal blocks above, really. Which is harder than it seems. What if we do it like this? Yeah! Yes! <laughs> okay. And the, the slime ball is still going. That's funny. Alright, one level to go, guys. One level. We're so close. So close, I can taste it. Not really, that would be weird. Oh no. Oh no. No. The dreaded turret. The dreaded turret. Oh my goodness. They're everywhere. The lines are everywhere. I don't like this. You know what, guys? I don't think I have any more time for this, honestly. Uh, I definitely don't have time to figure out this craziness, even though MC Da said it was not the hardest level. MC Da said level 2 was the hardest. I think I'm going to wrap things up here. I just, I, I don't have time for it. And also, this seems like a good level to do the finale in. This seems like a good level to end off of, to finish the map with next time. So, I hope you enjoyed this. We got through three levels. I'm pretty proud of myself. 
And we also got a secret advancement that might not be something to be proud of, but I'm still going to be proud of it nonetheless. You can't stop me. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye!